is up everybody mm -hmm. welcome 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 to the baby pierce podcast episode three episode three tonight uh got some people missing got uh papa peck is missing tonight um couldn't <laughs> couldn't be here doing some fatherly duties you know papa peck uh <laughs> and then uh ravo uh he might pop in we uh, he might pop in uh randomly so Oh. Yeah, that'd, that'd be dope if he popped in randomly, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. But let's just uh, pop it up. Jason, how you doing tonight? I'm good. All right. Yeah, what, what were you up to tonight? Just the uh, festival? You, yeah, big Asia Asian festival. We're focusing on all the Asian cultures and just food and stuff like that. Did you get a lot Pretty of good cool. food? They did, but there was so many lines. It was like two hours to wait, and then to what? find out that they ran out of like the stuff you had, you wanted. Uh, and that's actually so. so depressing. Like I, I, yeah. I was at a football game a couple weeks ago, and I was waiting on a line for like thirty minutes. And then right when like I got to the front, they were like, "Oh, dude, we ran, we actually ran out of the the Philly cheesesteaks." And I, that was like the only thing they had on the menu too. Yeah. That's know. what it was like today. And it was like hot and sweaty. So we just went and got boba at the boba place. That's bad. And it was nice. Yeah, they had boba. It was great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Dope, dope. And then Josh Snow, how you doing tonight? Hello. I'm doing good. Yeah. Just drank some tea. Got a little caffeine. Yeah, I feel like we're all pretty tired right now. <laughs> <laughs> One of those no, I'm ready to rank these games. Yeah, so the plan tonight <laughs> is to rank uh, some Nintendo published games. So there is some games that like technically aren't Nintendo, but all, n they're Nintendo published games on the Switch. Oh. Um, so they're not just like in general all Nintendo published games. It's just Nintendo published games on the Switch. So we got our huge list here. And I don't think we've played every single one of them, but uh, I'm pretty sure we played most of them, or at least like at least one of us has played one of these games. Like if the other. Person Did you make like a don't know it. category, or should we add one? Um, five? I didn't. I think it might go down more, but I'm just like not in full screen. Oh, nice. But oh, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Uh, we can do like the d as don't know if you want and then just put like c as our bottom tier or if should we go lower and should i try to make it bigger did you guys hear that or is my no. oh okay i was gonna say should i try to make it bigger and like one sec one sec i'm gonna try something real quick oh i'm uh... i think d can we be could... as don't know maybe yeah, we could do that. Okay. We could do that. And then you just see maybe S is top tier, A, B. Yeah, that's enough. D yeah. should be. D is don't yeah, know. D, if we don't know or haven't played something, we'll just put it down there. Yeah, true, true, true. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. All right. Should we should we just pick and choose or should we just start from like the bottom? Can't stop. Can't start at Breath of the Wild. Or should we just start you can start the from the bottom, work your way to the top. All right, let's just do that. All right, first game, we not Wii Sports. Oh, my gosh. I have it down here. You guys can see my uh, see what on my screen yeah. I'm sharing, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Nintendo Switch Sports. Any thoughts <laughs> on that? Jason, did you buy that game? Uh, I think we did. Yeah, I... I me and Josh put a lot of hours into that game at the start, but I feel it like... It was, like, a great game. It just didn't hold you for, like... Like, I don't have any drive to play it anymore, you know? It was good for, like, two, three weeks, but I after that, I was, like, done with yeah, it. Yeah, I feel like it doesn't hold you the way that Wii Sports does. Yeah. Like, Wii Sports has, like, the single player where, like, you rank up and you can get to pro level... And then you face, like, the higher opponents. Even though, like, this one has online and you can face, like, better people. I don't know. I like that single-player progression. Yeah. With, like, baseball, I felt like I was actually, like, in the leagues, bro. I don't know. Yeah. 
Yeah, I kind of wish there was like a leveling system, like a ranking. There is a ranking system, I know, but yeah. like just if you started at like one and you could work your way up to like a hundred mm -hmm. and like unlock unlock things like as you go instead of like oh this week if you play this much you unlock this or whatever but yeah, yeah, yeah. i don't know I... I don't know i just lost it but it's fun i mean it was a good game i kind of want to put it at like b act or i don't know i don't know this is like the first I game we're ranking see i i I think it's one of those games where they like should inc they should include it with the Nintendo Switch when you buy it. Yeah, like that. Like you wouldn't buy it other than that. I I I agree with that. And then, but I'm looking at it now. I'm like, one two Switch is that game that like came out with the Switch actually, and like should have been the <laughs> yeah. actual game to launch with it. But yeah. it didn't I, I, come I, with the Switch though. That was even worse. Yeah, the fact that that game was sixty dollars. Okay, so let's put yeah. it. B. Let's put it B then. Yeah, I, I liked it. I mean, the soccer was really good. Yeah, I, feel like uh, I would put it A, but we could go B. Is B fine okay. with everyone? Because this is like yeah, yeah, our, fast, our list. Yeah. And like, yeah. I feel like yeah. C, I feel like there's got to be worse games that we're going to come across. There's definitely worse for me, I'll tell you that. And these are all Nintendo games, right? Uh, yeah, we got to just, uh, we'll agree. Yeah, Nintendo published games. So like, okay. there's some random like games that are like not nintendo properties but like they published and like they're switch exclusives so yeah most of them are like pretty nintendo yeah so next game we got is Z legend of zelda links awakening that's an s putting it in Dang. S. okay i i honestly i don't know i feel like it's it's more an a for me like i i i love the game but i honestly Whoa! It's a B for me to be what? honest. <laughs> what? What? I'd put Switch Sports on A. Put this on a B if it was. Oh me. my god! Okay, so let's, let's go mid grade <laughs> then. Let's go mid grade. If Josh feels it's a B and you feel it's an A and I feel it's an S, let's go A. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's probably <laughs> smart. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I like no, initially I, I played it and I was like, man, this art style is amazing. I love it. But like the game itself, I initially I just didn't have a drive to like play it. I don't know. I uh, I probably put more hours in Switch Sports like the first three weeks I had it than this game. I'd say. Wow, like yeah, that that's wild to me. I feel like this is this. I like I played it so much day one and legit couldn't go back to it. Maybe because I suck at the game. Like maybe that's my problem. I need to like look it up. I feel you guys have both beat this game, right? Wait, wait, yeah, what? yeah. Wait, wait. What game? Zelda. Link's We're at Awakening. The We're at Link's Awakening. Yeah. Oh, I thought we were talking about Breath of the Wild. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah, that's, what I was that's hilarious. Oh. <laughs> No, we're at we're at, we're at Link's Awakening right now. Yeah, that, yeah. Jason's not awakening. Jason oh my needs... God, Jason needs an awakening right now. Yeah. Okay. That's I agree. Funny. I agree with. I agree with. I agree with both of you, completely. Wait. Where? Where? Uh, where would you put it? So we can. I, I would probably put it in like B. I'd probably put it in B. Okay. Yeah, I, I would I'd too. Say two B is one A. I say we put it in B then. Yeah. Okay. And, and the reason why is like you could like i went through it i enjoyed the game and i played the original and i really loved it on the game boy mm -hmm. but that one like i was near the end i was just like all right like this is getting old like it just needs to end. does it like, yeah it's repetitive. that's how i was yeah. like it's one of those games that like sat in my backlog for like two years and like during the holidays maybe i'd jump on a couple hours and it took forever and like every time I came back, I had to like look up what to do because I was so lost. And I, just I think, think it's yeah. funny. <laughs> the chat, really the chat. Like yeah. Sam, this is like heart attack of birth. <laughs> <laughs> I know, Sam's so funny right now. All right, should we go to the next she's game. We have that Yoshi's. Funny. She's not that funny. She's not that. Funny. Oh, she's she's that funny. <laughs> yeah, she's she not that funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Yoshi's uh, crafted world. Has anyone played this game? Heck yeah. I have. Okay, I have too. <laughs> I want to hear what Josh says. What is Josh's thoughts? 
Wait, Josh's thoughts or my thoughts? You know what? Can we can we just use S through D? Yeah, I agree. This For is the games D. we don't know, let's we'll just give it an educated guess. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's let's do that. Because I that. put this game at like a D. Yeah. Okay. This is definitely Yoshi's crappy world, not crafted. Like it's... Okay, wait, okay. okay. So here's my thing with this game. I loved it. Oh, did you really? Wow. Okay. I I loved it, and Scarlett and I, my daughter, we like. We bought this game with the agreement that we're gonna play it together. And we were going to, like, just annihilate the game. And we were going to, like, get everything. And there was only two levels where we missed all the, um, what is it, the stars? Mm -hmm. And the collectible stuff. I forgot. Yeah, so we found everything. We went back and kept doing it. That game is awesome. But it's a different level. Scarlet was a lot younger. And so mm. to me, it's, like, it's more of a younger audience game. So to me, I I say to me it's a like a B. Okay. I'd I'd put it like I'm willing to put it in C because I see a couple games that I'd rather put in D already right now. Uh, okay. I I liked certain portions where you had like 3D like you had like the train hopping and like you oh, were yeah. trying to like you had like so many different pathways in a 2D game and it just didn't seem real. Like the graphics in this game look actually incredible compared to some other newer switch games in my opinion yoshi looks ugly but like the the game looks sexy okay c well, let's put it in a c then i i i get that because uh, you don't have to listen to me because i barely played any of it and i just wasn't interested so <laughs> no I, I i get i get the c because it's like a good game but like there's more about me and my daughter playing it that made it like amazing Okay. Yeah, you have that connection. That's, yeah, that's fine. Though. Isn't it? It's like a couch co-op. Like it's meant yeah. for that, right? Yeah. yeah. I think it's, it's only two that. players, right? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, well, I cut I, you off. What were you saying? I only played two player. Okay. Should we head to Xenoblade Three? Yeah. Yeah. Has anybody played Xenoblade? No. <laughs> I, I tried to play it one time and I wanted to, but I just never got deep into it. Like, yeah. So, are we just leaving these games in here, or should we actually let's leave them, let's leave them in and then we'll see? What yeah. We okay. Yeah. So we yeah. Just move on. I, has anyone played uh, Mar Marvel Ultimate Alliance Three? Because that is published by Nintendo. No, I haven't, but I heard it's good. I heard it's okay. good. Same with Xenoblade. Heard it's good. Yeah. So Sam is saying that Xenoblade Xenoblade is the best Switch game. <laughs> Sam has definitely not played Xenoblade. She's like the comedian today. Like yeah. what? Are we... She's here. She's popping off today. <laughs> she is. <laughs> All right. So we have uh, Super Mario U Deluxe. So this is the Wii U. A game that got ported the Wii U launch title that got ported Ooh. over to the Switch. Uh right. Has it was fun. This? I mean it's fun. It's like a kind of a short lived game, but like if you get four people it's pretty chaotic and fun. Like I'm not the hugest two D Mario guy, but I do find enjoyment. So mm -hmm. for me it's probably like a B. I don't know. I'd probably I'd probably agree with that. I'd say B. I honestly, it's probably my my least favorite two D Mario game. But I'm a pretty, I'm like, I feel like I'm pr a pretty big two D Mario guy. And this game kind of like was terrible, in my opinion. I don't know, <laughs> like, but from but two D Mario games like a terrible two D Mario game is still like a, a, a pretty game. average game. Like in most yeah, cases, yeah, I know I what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm with you both. I feel the game was. I think the game was epic. I thought it was great. Okay. Like it was a great like addition to the Mario library. It was fantastic, and then the four player was great fun, but you didn't want to play it for too long because it was just annoying. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, like, like everyone leave. I just want to do this myself. Yeah, because everybody would like push you over the side and then you'd have to wait in that bubble and then like it was just kind of like oh right i'm over this yeah so the bubbles yeah, man yeah. 
Same rank. Okay, so we'll throw it in B. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I say that's fair. Has anyone played tr uh, Triangle Strategy? What? You know what? I tried. The, I played the demo. Did you get like into I it? I played the demo. No, I'm... not really. I, it's too much like reading for me. <laughs> like it's one of those games. It looks awesome, like the two D, three D art style thing. <laughs> It looks awesome, but I just too much reading. It's not for me. Jason, <laughs> Jason did you get? Did you try the demo? I or? It. Oh, I haven't played it at all. Okay, I definitely downloaded the demo and I read like a little bit of the intro, and then I instantly deleted it because I was like, I've done. I'm not, my reading's done for the day. Yeah. Yeah. My reading's <laughs> done. <laughs> my reading's done. So I we'll just leave it down here. I'm sure it's yeah. a solid game, but. Uh, yeah, so Mario Tennis Aces. Who's gotten into this one? I'll say uh, it's one of my least favorite like Mario sports games from like this generation. Sometimes really? I get into tennis, but it's always like one of my least favorite. I'd say, I'd it's say it probably like a C for me to be honest. I. I'd say it's one of my favorite. Like, the, what Mario sports games have even came out? Like, like golf and strikers. Golf and strikers. Okay, this game's definitely like better than golf, in my opinion. Uh, like, I don't, I don't know about about y'all, but I put like mad amounts of hours into this game, like playing it just solo, not in the story mode, because I thought the story mode kind of sucked and it was annoying, and like super repetitive like i tried so hard to get into the story mode but i love like everything you could do in this game like the ch the shots where you can like zoom in and like um like choose where you want to hit it i don't know it just felt like a fun mario sports game to me um, so where where are you saying where, where are you putting it i'm i would wait josh where did you want to put it because I, I i guess i just put it in b again but i'd say c okay so, yeah, to me it's a C, and I didn't really like play this one, but like, it's more of like the sports genre. So if you're into sports genre, yeah. like you would like it. But if you're not, it's kind of like it has a little bit of not like sports genre, where it's not like NBA 2K or anything. Right, yeah, right. So like to me, it's like you have to be that audience to play it. Yeah, we'll I would see, say C. Toss it in C. Yeah. All right. But I mean, that's just my thought. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so we got, we had mine B and then two C's. So I just tossed it in C. Uh, Mario Party Superstars is the next one here. Pers okay, I get mixed up with all the Mario Parties oh, now. So this, this is the new one. The, the one with the old one. N64 boards. Like, right. And then so this one is a fun one. This is, the, yeah. this is the good one. This is the good one. Yeah. I mean, the last one's kind of fun, too. Just For a minute. It's different. The board It's stuff, different. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's not the best Mario Party. Yeah. It's not. But, um, you know, it was better than the last one. I, I had fun with it. I don't know. It's a B for me, I'd say. Yeah, so if I'm looking at C, like, I could pick that up if I'm the right audience, but I would say this one's probably a C. Okay, I'd say like, A. <laughs> that's fair. Okay. Like, yeah. I, this was, like, my dream game come to life, but I wanted it, I wanted it to be more, because I'm, like, I was, like, an advocate for, like, I wanted them to go, like, the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate route, where they give us every board and every every mini game that would and be just awesome, like go yeah. crazy why have they not done that that's what i'm thinking too why have they not done that for mario kart and like i feel like if, everything. if they do that then they have no more they can't make anymore then like, it's this. like the end of the life yeah, right? yeah. i guess that's true yeah <laughs> like smash is the end <laughs> yeah that's, that's so true they can't really the next smash game is going to be like really disappointing for everyone so uh, <laughs> what you really say? No, I said that's really sad. It'd yeah. be awful. Just the most disappointing Smash ever. Yeah, so last five characters. 
<laughs> instead of like the 95 they have in this game i don't know so if you feel it's a b like i feel like you have to be the board game kind of like person to play it like we played it but everyone was kind of like wow this is dragon okay yeah uh, i would i don't know i say uh go middle ground then if yeah. you're one way yeah if you say a jason said c i said b just put it b true it's true. like a I'll good middle ground i want to yeah. like convince y'all that it's an a so badly but because <laughs> that's just how strongly i feel about that game like like it's fun pushy it's fun. what is that like mario party like 20 yeah <laughs> i don't know there was like so and many Nintendo's the probably like, how do we keep Mario Party alive, like and Mario Kart alive without like doing an ultimate and killing it? They need like and not one. going live service. <laughs> they need to make like a strategy Mario Party where like people can go on and strategize against each other. <laughs> like a, a team <laughs> tactical Mario Party or it's like three yeah, v three. They, they don't have that. They, that would be fun. Yeah, that would be dope. I'd like that. Uh, next, we have Super Mario Party. The bad Mario Party. Um, hey, but there were some fun things about it. I liked some things a lot. Yeah, like the... Uh, what is it? The, the like, rhythm game? Okay. It was so fun. And the river rafting. Yeah, river yeah. rafting. I thought that yeah, was dope. Fun. Yeah. But after you play it, like, two or three times, it's Dang. dead. The, the boards themselves are absolutely terrible. Like, there's only four of them, and they're some of the worst Mario Party boards I've ever seen. And the game was so just like basic. Yeah, the boards, like, the star placement. Oh my placement. gosh! Yes, so bad. Just it's one of the worst Mario Parties if you're just looking at the game itself. But like the extra stuff was cool. I'd put it at a C for me. Yeah, I'd probably put it in D. <laughs> I put it below Aces and below Yoshi's Crafted World. I think mainly just because my expectations for the game were too high. Like, I, I, I felt like I wanted it to be so much better, and I felt, like, so heartbroken when I actually played it. And you couldn't even play it in handheld mode. Like, you had to have a Joy-Con. Like, <laughs> I don't know. What are your thoughts, Jason? Dude, Yoshi's, Yoshi's... Yoshi and Aces is far better than this game so yes <laughs> in D. D? okay okay put in d put in d oh my gosh <laughs> josh i'm sorry you guys i'm, I'm sorry. just joking <laughs> has anyone played kirby star allies yeah it's a d for me that's a massive d for me if too. i could put it in <laughs> f i would <laughs> okay wait wait so this is our ranking but for kids it might be ideal <laughs> yeah yeah sure yeah but this it might be an s because it's so easy they could just kind of go through and just kind of make things happen yeah. and feel accomplished if this was like a kids ranking like like for kids games like that i would recommend this would be s i'd recommend this to every kid you'd recommend that one as an s for sure yeah or to like to like 10 and under as an s <laughs> like this is your first game kirby right here but like as our list personally like top first party like or nintendo published games this got to be a d there's got to be some of their worst work i've ever seen <laughs> that's a d it's a is definite sam, d sam is saying mario party being first in d is... it, it's brenda yeah. says why a d this game's too easy. It's, that, that one, yeah. It's and it has it, it has four feel player good co-op it too. Doesn't feel good. And it's, I've actually yeah, played it with multiple people, and it's actually worse. It gets worse the more people you add. It yeah. feels bad. Yeah. Super All right. Deep. Next. Next. Yeah. One. Uh, yeah. I uh, Super Smash Brothers oh. Ultimate. What's up, Rabo? Bravo. What's up? Hello. Ravo, yeah. what's going He's there. on? Are you here? <laughs> um, all right. all right, Smash. That's an F. Oh I'm my joking. god, I put, I put Smash S tier all day. It's all an S tier. Day. Hello. All right, sorry, I had to. 
Mike, are we doing a tier list? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. So we're, we are. we're, we're, we're ranking we're Nintendo on Smash. published games on the Switch. Yeah, so we're ranking all of us together what we think and kind of tr yeah. basing that in our best categories. All right. Um, Smash, I'd say that's a definite S tier. Yeah. There's, an, there's it's no a way. for me. What? Well, you can really? put it S. <laughs> It's definitely I just, A for me. Yeah. It's just definitely like it's just a fun group game that you get with together with the homies and play. You know oh I mean? yeah, great game. You have like a bunch of fun memories. There's always me who who's super sweaty at it, and then I'm like, oh my gosh, stupid items. I'm like, I'm the kid who rages about items, and if it's not on, um, and if stage hazards are on, that's me. Yeah, no, I'm so. I'm the same way. I feel like it's perfect for like competitive play without items. Like, it's so much fun to just 1v1 people, three stocks. For real. Like, but it's also so much fun to have, like, four to eight people with items yeah, it, on and it, just, like, it make it extremely chaotic. Like, I feel like that's always been the way I played Smash, like, growing up. And I feel like this just enhances, like, every battle I've wanted to see with all, like, however 90 characters they have in the game. It's, like, every, like dream i had as a kid come true like so that's real. true it deserves an s just for all the characters it had oh, yeah, sure. that's just insane Steve you can... for minecraft oh sorry no no i was just saying you could be like five and jump on and play and just smash buttons and have fun yeah. and you could yeah. be 50 and like jump on and like smash buttons and yeah have fun. you could be like a mm -hmm. pro and it's a whole other game and you just like have so much fun playing it like beating brenda all the time is just so much fun like she's <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious you really love you yeah. really love for me i wanted it i would put it at a just because i didn't it didn't like grab me like i didn't want to put a ton of time into it to, to be honest but it's a great game like incredible game i love it i just don't play it enough i like need more people to play like couch co-op with to really have fun with it i think yeah. let's play some couch co-op then uh yeah. Sam, sam's moving here <laughs> yeah and she needs to get into smash too and i want to whoop oh. her as smash, so let's just... yeah as a matter of fact in the chat they're saying that the 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 rating is rigged because of smash being the first s tier <laughs> yeah this just they, there you should know. have been better games before then. Like, yeah. Nah, but it's not, like, yeah. like, Smash is S tier. Let's go sure. S. Okay. Also, yeah. All right. also, one, two, switch. Can we just put a D tier? Can we make an F tier, to be honest? We need an F tier. And there right. is an F tier. It's just like the way I have like my stream set up. We can't I see it. We can't so. see it. So we're just we have to do... work with D yeah, for the now. The F tier is the we don't know tier only. Yeah, we need a we don't know. Like, I never played <laughs> tier. Yeah. Yeah, we're just leaving them at the bottom yeah, if we so yeah, don't these, really know. We're on Splatoon 2 now, but we left Triangle Strategy, Ultimate Alliance, and all the Xenoblade games out of it because we haven't played that yet. So Okay, mm. uh, Splatoon 2. I Currently, I, I'd say after playing 3, it's an A tier. The like, memories <laughs> right? I had, it's an S tier, <laughs> but after 3, it's totally an A tier. 3 just knocks it out of the water. I want to put it at S, but there's so many annoying things about it. Like, yeah. there's, you can't group with your friends. You can't skip the announcers at the beginning. Like, you but can't it's... do the principles in 3 anyway. <laughs> yeah, I just... Uh, I, agree. I don't know. I agree. It felt like um, Splatoon 2 was... like Splatoon 1.5. Exactly. Yeah, it is a one point. The gravity feels more like a sequel. Yeah, it was like we needed to. Get, it the game should have been on the previous console, yeah. but they they moved it onto the Switch. It's still a good game, but it's, I'd say yeah. easier. I say it easier. is a great game. I love it. I say A tier after three. Yeah, we're probably yeah. gonna put it in A tier, but I'd say B tier to be honest, just because my uh, the story mode, I thought just was oh, terrible compared to expansion. one i thought it was a i haven't played that yet but yeah. octo spanish is really good okay yeah well i gotta go get moisture yeah <laughs> i i just i just thought it was a huge downgrade from splatoon one the like story mode and like it had all the same like online features so i was just i couldn't i personally wouldn't put an a but we'll throw it in a all right <laughs> Has anyone played uh, Snipper Clips? It was a yeah. launch yes. title. 
I put that yeah. in A. Yeah. I don't know if it would take. I, I think it's actually, I think for a puzzle game, it's an A. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, what for are we me, ranking? it's like a. Clips is what we're on. Bravo. For no, me, it's uh, like a C tier. Yeah, I was going to say C tier. We said it at the same time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, what did okay. you guys say? C tier? Yeah, we said C tier. Yeah. Dang. X well, why, though? It's fun. It's Yoshi fun. Game. It's just. Compared to like the other games in B tier, I definitely put it C for me. Okay, that yeah, makes totally that a C tier. Sense. And that does make sense. Because those games. Yeah. I don't know. Personally, I just. Like, I have fun with it C-tier. for like. I have fun with it for like 10 minutes and then I'm like done, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. I don't know. It's like a, I bought it, I need to kind of just keep going on it and I'll come back later kind of game. Yeah. Or you have friends over and you have nothing else to play. And they... Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I feel like it's so much fun with like four players, like on the couch, co-op. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. So C tier? So you guys say A, we say C. So put it in B. Put in B. Yeah, put it in... Is that all right? Okay. Put it in it's not B. in A tier. Yeah. Yeah, Who said yeah, it was yeah. A tier? Uh, Anyways. They, 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 they're crazy. They're crazy. I have triangle strokes. Okay. Skyward Sword, I'd say probably you're on a B tier all the game. Ooh. Okay. I'd say Skyward A tier Sword. compared to Link's Awakening, in my opinion. Ooh. Oh, compared to Link's Awakening, oh, for sure. But no. It's I'd a... say B. Yeah, yeah okay. I'd say it's a B tier, but more of an upper B tier. Okay, so with that, with both of you saying that, do you think Zelda should move down and we move Skyward Sword up? I don't. I think I Zelda don't. stays I where... I think Link's Awakening yeah. stays. I think if we're going to throw Skyward Sword and B, then we'll just throw Skyward Sword and B. I don't think Ooh. it should affect yeah, just throw, Awakening. Just throw okay. Skyward and B. I feel I think Skyward oh, Sword is like in the D tier for Zelda. Oh, really? Wow. That's, you haven't even played Skyward that's Sword. Story. No, no, like the controls no, are watched, terrible. I've but. watched it played because I don't even want to waste my time and read reviews. And I just like there just seems like so many problems for a Zelda game. It doesn't hit that tier. But it just seems I, really like boring. Like every time like I wanted to watch it, I just get bored. It is like, like the most repetitive and annoying Zelda game. I'll tell you that. But it, <laughs> it has its moments where it's like honestly feels like the greatest Zelda game, and you can really okay. see where Breath of or where Breath of the Wild like kind of got its of Wild. all of its stuff from Skyward Sword. A lot of it's like the yeah. stamina meter. Uh, so B, B is B is the one to place it in. B? Sure, I think so. Yeah, and B tier. I trust you and drop like mid tier. Okay. Anyways, we fitness or Ring Fit Adventure. That's I oh. have never played it, so but I'm just gonna say S. I wanted it to become in um to be in Smash, so I'd say a C tier. Josh, where are you? Okay, for me, I think this is a really it's one of those games like Nintendo took a risk on, and I think it's awesome. Like it's a great game like i've done plenty of workouts with it and they added like the the rhythm dlc that's the, and the best mini DLC games ever. are like amazing like if you have like a group of people over and you all want to like laugh and like play an insane game i feel like this is the game to play like it, it's really cool the music's awesome i mean it's you listen to the Ring Fit Adventure soundtrack. Okay, not even kidding. I, I don't the know i don't boring. know if i can put it in a but like Maybe a B. I don't okay, know. I guess the question you have to ask yourself, because I haven't played it, so I'm trusting you on it. Is it better than Splatoon 2? I'd say it's right there with no. Splatoon 2. It's, it's, it's up there for sure, but it's not better. It's better than Nintendo Switch Sports, so I think it deserves an A in my opinion. Okay, wait. Is it better than like Wii Fit? Yeah. Wii Fit I'd doesn't even have so. a story. No, it Wii didn't. Fit. No, Wii Fit did not have a story. I don't know. I'm such, I'm feeling a B for this. Uh, maybe an A. I don't know. I'm feeling an A. I don't know. I just feel like like the game itself was a B. But I feel like when you add in the rhythm DLC, 
which right. added there's so much to it yeah they added like, um you can do like rhythm games with splatoon music they added splatoon music they added mario odyssey music and then they added a bunch of breath of the wild music to this game to do like rhythm things too and they added like the final boss dark beast ganon and i was popping off on the very hard mode with the they even thing. added uh jason's favorite song the jump up superstar <laughs> Yeah, that, they... that alone. And you have the ring, and you're like, jump off superstar. It's really <laughs> fun. Uh, yeah, that seems pretty fun. I haven't played it, so I would go with you guys. Just slap it up in A tier if you guys want to. Do you want A yeah. or B, Josh? Because you said B, and I said A. I don't know. I think we just throw it in B. Okay, B, yeah. B, yeah. I, I feel like they could use, like, make that game and that equipment to something like uh, Rhythm Heaven. Like, that would be cool. Hmm. It's true. Definitely should come. All right, so. what's the next one? Pokemon Tournament DX? I was probably, probably a D tier. That's a D for I'd me. I'd agree with the D tier. <laughs> we all agree. You, got, you agree too? I, all I remember is, like, the reviews that Robo would give me of that one. If, uh, if Peck was here, he would be saying A, because he was in love with that game. And I would just... Well, I guess what, Peck? Peck. Roast Peck. Your opinion doesn't matter here, because you're not. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So... <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. No, it was... I will... <laughs> He's gonna jump on now. It wasn't <laughs> that bad. I don't think it was Super Mario Party bad, or Star Allies bad, in my opinion. Really? Okay. Well, I think it more deserves C, but if everyone else says D, then I'm willing to go. Uh, D. I say D, D. For sure. For sure. For D. Sure. D. D. Okay. Cool. <laughs> yeah. All right. Sword uh, is a C tier. Just saying. Do they have shield? Uh, really? In it too, or is it just. Just. Okay, it's just, a, it's oh, it's just same both. game. It's just yeah. yeah, yeah. No, for yeah. me, it's a so B. Better. It's a it's B a for me. It's a C tier because A, I like Pokemon, but compared to Arceus. Compared to the new Pokemon game that's coming out, I could just already tell it's better than Sword. So just slap it in D tier, to be honest. Oh my gosh. I, I, <laughs> what the heck? Okay, so we got a B and a D. Jason, do you have any I thoughts? Can't, I can't say because Bravo, Bravo is a big like Pokemon player, and he <laughs> rates him pretty well. I usually agree with him when I like look at stuff. So I have not played this game, so I do not know. So if you just slap it's in C. So it's 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 the definition of mid tier, but slap it in C. Yeah, because it's, it's mid tier. And a C, yeah, so okay. C, C. C. Yeah. yeah. Has anyone what is the next Pokemon one? Pokemon Mystery Dungeon? No, no, but I hear it's good. So I'm gonna let you guys lead that one. I played the demo and yeah, I, I played the demo too. Could not get into it. I could not play it. Like I tried. I actually tried to play it. Like I tried to get through the whole demo. Yeah. And I had to rage quit. Like I had to turn it off because it was. I thought it was that bad. I don't know. Rage quit. All right, then just what did slap you it in. To me, that sounds like we don't have enough information. Leave it in the list. Leave it. Wait, down. do we not have like? Oh man, I'm sad we don't have. Wait, are these all Nintendo games? Because what the heck is the Wolverine game? Uh, these are all Nintendo <laughs> Switch published games. So, like... Oh, then where's a Mori in here? So like Nintendo yeah, where's Bayonetta? Published them. Bayonetta's joking. farther up. <laughs> yeah, she's at <laughs> the top right corner. All right, anyone... Oh, I see it. Wow, I didn't know yeah. it was in here. Anyone play right. Pikmin 3 Deluxe? The Wii yes, U game I have. coming on I over? But Pikmin always is the game where I watch when I'm sick and very bored and have nothing better to do. So I'm going to put that in C just because I don't like the feeling of that. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, I liked the game better than Skyward Sword, so I'd put it in B. Oh my gosh. You can just compare every game to Skyward Sword, my brother. <laughs> Skyward Sword is so good. It has to be an A then, right? Pikmin's got to be that good then. So mm, I'd put it in B. It's actually be the one franchise that Nintendo doesn't come back to after they're done with this last one. Or from Falcon. Wait, you're saying after Pikmin 4, it's done? No, I just don't think they have the audience, but they maybe they do. I don't know. I feel like this game it's actually possible. sold really well for some reason. Yeah, and it may have. That's what I'm saying. Like, But it just seems like so dead, like a dead franchise. Yeah. But that's yeah. Me. yeah, that's me. You've beat this game, though, Josh, right? Yes, I have. Okay. Maybe, uh, yeah, I'd say B. C here. Slap it in C. Uh, maybe D. I am fine with either. 
I'm not, not that big Josh, thing, so. I'm gonna go with like C. Okay. Josh, whatever you say, since you. It seems like it. everyone says C. I I would put it in B. I thought it was kind of cool. Just Pikmin games in general are kind of cool. B just yeah, we'll throw it in B. Yeah, we'll throw it in B. You played it, right, Steven? Not Paper Mario. Paper Mario is always those things that uh, I'm like curious to try, but then I uh, also don't care about and I never want to buy. I also beat this game. What did you think, Josh? Or um, King, baby. It was a good game. I mean, it kind of drags on. I enjoyed it more than Skyward Sword, so I have to give it a B. Oh my god, bro. Every game's going in B. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Skyward Sword is a massive slander. Yeah, it's going to be a B. Okay, okay. Paper Mario <laughs> is, is a good, solid B. Like, the humor is kind of funny. I'd There's say Paper the... Mario is a B. It's beautiful. Like, the game is absolutely beautiful. It just, the combat system is absolutely terrible. It's like this weird wheel, and you have to, like, spin it to hit your opponents. But, like, like it's fun. Game. It's fun. <laughs> yeah, maybe slap that up into, like, B tier. B? Okay. Yeah. Put it in B. All right, Octopath Traveler. I, have I just like this game. I've never played it, but I know that it, people were... It was taking up all of like the time we could have been using to talk about Smash, and <laughs> what I didn't like that. And in the Octo expansion, back when people were announcing it, and everybody's like, "I'm so hyped for this game." I'm like, "Literally, it's just another 8-bit RPG." Honestly, this okay, is, the this... art style is beautiful though. It That's is true. Just, That's true. I think this game started the 2D, uh, 3D I think art it's... style. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't listen to me. I think it's, I'm just biased. I Wait, was was, that made I me... can't judge it. I can't judge it. So Steven, rate it to where you think what it would be. What were you saying, Jason? Was that that was made by Nintendo? Uh, published by Nintendo. Made, published. Uh, developed by uh, Square Enix. That's what I was gonna say. It's a Square Enix RPG, and I mean they're the king of RPGs. Like as much as people hate to hear that, like that's yeah. legit. Like, I can understand right. it. Hardcore RPG player, I would say it's probably like major if. Mm -hmm. I would say though, for us, it's probably not up there because we're not like I'm probably the biggest RPG player here more than yeah. We only play like the modern day I mean, RPGs. I like Dragon Quest. That's about it. I honestly like I'm the like probably the least into RPGs here, and I really enjoyed this game. Like I beat the demo, and that was like five hours. <laughs> so oh, see, for, see, you mean like a turn-based RPG kind of thing, right? Or yeah, it's it's turn based and like it's, yeah. it's yeah. basically like live alive, but it had didn't have as much text, so I actually got a chance right. to play it and stuff. So, <laughs> uh, right. I don't know. I'd probably I just well, I didn't really like it. Didn't catch me enough to like actually make me want to buy the full game. So I guess we'll throw it in C. C. See, see, see it was like those Octopath Traveler tra Traverians. Like, oh dang! What the heck is game. this next game? Okay. New, oh. new Pokemon Snap. Though. I have never played this game, so I'm, and I feel like Pokemon Snap is just kind of like people. It's overrated. I feel like all you do is take pictures of Pokemon with better graphics and Sword and Shield. I feel yeah. like it's Jason just a, looks I feel upset. Like a, it's a DCR kind of game right there. Okay, um, Josh and Steven, have you played it? I have not the new I one. I want to play it so badly. Every single year, I wait for a discount on this game. Still it's like 60, 60 bucks every time. Nintendo what? doesn't give discounts, bro. <laughs> I know, but still, I just, It'll I'm stay begging. 60 till, till I'm next begging. generation. I want I, it just doesn't interest me. I so, think as a kid, like the N64 one, I was like, oh, Pokemon Snap looks so cool, but it just doesn't interest me anymore. I don't know. So I played the original one. I haven't played this new one, but I've been wanting to really bad. Hmm. Then again, it's sixty dollars. It's sixty bucks, and for sixty bucks, like Pokemon Snap, I I don't know if that's worth it. But the be original, the original one, I I didn't think I would like it, and I actually rented it. Mm -hmm. Blockbuster. And <laughs> dude, I gotta say, I loved it, and I beat mm. it, and it was wow. so fun seeing Pokemon just like in their habitat. I don't know why, like it's how you imagined it always. Um, but to me, like, yeah, that's, that's like, C. See, I, I feel like I've played the original too. Like, obviously it's on the Nintendo Switch Online too, and I can play it there. 
But I feel like I remember playing the original at McDonald's back in the day when they used to have N64 oh, yeah, they at the McDonald's. Have it at McDonald's. Yeah. And I like remember that like vividly in my childhood. That's why I wanted to play this new one. But Nintendo needs to freaking drop the price on that crap. So should yeah, we just leave it uh, outside? Yeah. yeah. I really haven't played it. Yeah. What are these next two games? Have... They have like super complicated okay. like box art. So, has anyone played Tokyo Mirage Sessions? It's a no. Wii U port. Sounds mid. It's basically it's Fire it's Emblem, but it's like they no, they it's not. Of it. No, it is. It's, <laughs> it's, it's 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 it has it's like it's part of the Fire Emblem series. Oh no, Shin Megami Tensei Five. Anyone who played that? Nope. I, I've heard it's amazing. I heard it's like Pokemon for adults, but like demons oh. you catch instead. Yeah. All right, let's just leave. <laughs> if that here. makes any sense. No, it does. I, it's by it's it's made by Atlas, who makes Persona Five, and I've heard it's just right. like it's basically yeah. it's just Persona, but like this. It, it, it was just doesn't interest me. Persona it's a turn before based. Persona. Yeah. yeah. Mario yeah. Maker Two. Yeah, Super Mario Maker Two. Any thoughts, Ravo? I know you put a lot of hours into this game. I put a lot of hours into the first one, but not the second one. To be honest, I got the second one, was super hyped for it, and then I watched the story mode and then got bored of it when I got the game and then had no ideas and was like, oh, well, I don't know what to do. And then haven't played that game since. I, so yeah. it's a good game. It's a good game. Don't get me wrong. I like it. I'd say I'd put it in an solid A tier. I think it's a really great game for creative people who like are great at making 2D platforms. I am not one of those. So yeah. I think I the had... one thing they missed out on is not including a pen with the game. <gasps> True. Yeah, I had to buy a pen and then one of it broke and then started smudging my screen. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I feel like the Wii U version is a lot better just because yeah, of everyone the... says the first one's better, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, has... you can put it on like the yeah. screen. It attaches to the yeah. screen, like it's so perfect. It goes hand in hand with the Wii U and the Switch. It just doesn't work that same way. Yeah. Or this game is not for me. It just doesn't interest me. I don't care to like make Mario levels. I don't care to play other people's Mario levels. That's so much fun so... though. It's like yeah, it is. People make the craziest, like better than any like Nintendo made level ever, in my opinion, and like. I say it's an A. Yeah. What do you think, Jason? Yeah, I don't know with this one because it, it's not as good as the first one. But I, I it's a good game. But like, I think it is. For, I think it's better than the first one. I just B. don't think. I no, just no. don't think that's creative or it's like creator is as it's, good as the first one. It's a better yeah. build than the first one. I'm saying it's a better game, but like the way you interact with it is far more difficult than the original one. Yeah. So, like, to me, like, if this is our list and not, like, everybody else's, I would say B. But I say uh, A. For me, I say C. (laughs) (laughs) So, I I think if we have an A, I mean, to be honest, Robo, like, played played most of them. He knows them pretty well. So, I'm not for that one. But I I would think a B for me. So, we got, like, a B, C... And two A's. So I say the A could override. Yeah. A or B, yeah. I think A. Put in A or B. Would Josh's C, do we put it in B? Uh, Sure. Yeah, we'll put it in B. Okay, I was like... I say it's an upper B tier, though. Come on, wasn't it better than Skyward Sword? Yes. Just joking. (laughs) No, it wasn't. (laughs) All right. uh, Luigi's Mansion 3. That's ass for me. Ouija's Mansion. That's a hard S. B. That's a hard B for me. A... I like. I played it, and then he was like, "I just never finished it. I never got in- super interested in it." So it's a hard C for me. So probably really? B tier. Yeah, I'd say B tier. <laughs> it's just I haven't played it enough to really give it. It's so like my it. favorite IP, and I love the GameCube one. I absolutely I love, love this to one be honest, too. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say an original yeah. Luigi's Mansion, a solid S tier for me. Could never beat the final boss because they suck, it's but definitely like one of the best looking games I've ever seen on the Switch too. Like I love the art. And like I don't know. I just love the ghost and Luigi and the I don't know. I love everything about it really. I feel 
feel like I don't like the ghosts. Like, I feel like they weren't, like... I feel like the first one had, like, so... Like, the ghosts were just so much more creative than, like, this... This one, the ghosts were just, like, all the same. Like, I don't know, maybe I just didn't get far enough. I felt like I got, honestly, like, halfway into the game, and I just, like, I did get stuck. I, I kind of suck at the game. But, I, I don't know, I just, I didn't even want to try even, like, finding out what to do. Like, I just wasn't into it. I just got so bored. I haven't played it, but I know the Luigi games, the mansion, Luigi's Mansion games are fun. But this one, I think it should have came with a DLC and it would have done a lot better rather than making a DLC for it. So to me, it's like, uh, it, it, I don't know. Visually, it looks fantastic. But True, yeah. It's, I, I think to me, it's like a B. Yeah. yeah, I'd give it a B tier. So A, B, and C, we'll throw it in B. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> live, live, never played. Dang, it's way better than Skyward Sword, though. <laughs> Trust me. You know what? Oh I God. agree. That's why I think that Skyward Sword should be a C. And way better than Link's Awakening. <laughs> Good day. Hey, and Pikmin. Okay, and wait, Paper wait, Mario. Wait. Oh my I have been never played Live a Live before. Or Live oh, with Evil. Yeah, live Alive. Live Alive. I, right. I do think that Zelda... I think that Mario Maker is is better than Skyward Sword and Zelda. Well, it's B tier doesn't. That's it's just kind of like a generalization. We could do okay. the upper B tier and lower lower okay. B tier, but that would be yeah, too much. We can't work. go back now. Link's Awakening okay. has their yeah. own uh, Zelda Maker, like Dungeon Maker. So, but I will was, fight for Luigi's Mansion. Yeah. That's my favorite one. All right. Uh, I don't know what the heck Live uh, a Live is. We could just skip oh, I it. I played the demo. I mean, it's a fun RPG. Definitely not for me. It's like one of those not, like Octopath Traveler type thing with a really it, cool story, but Octopath just not Traveler, for me. Octopath Traveler, but better, but like way more Okay, reading. The way I would describe those kind of games, like the third-party Nintendo published ones, are like the ones you, the, you're hyped for something else in the Nintendo Direct and then these ones pop up and you're like, man, I feel bad for anybody who's hyped for this. And then you just move on. That's yeah. how I feel. Yeah, they're the sleepers, but everyone <laughs> plays them. Like, on yeah, I'm like super hyped for this one, but I like, I I can, I'm, my rule is only play one game at a time and try to like get through it. But yeah, like I, I, I want can't... to pick this one up and I know it's going to be great because a maker from Chrono Trigger was involved. And so I, right. I play it and, but I can't. So I, to me, I would I would rank it probably higher once I got into it, but right now, it stays where it's at. Maybe at like right. the end of the generation, we'll do this again, like when Switch is completely done and making games for just like the the core Switch. And like you know, the next you know what we should do, Stephen, in, mm-hmm. in an upcoming podcast is we should all pick a game, all play it, and then all give our ranking of that game and why. Okay. That would be. Like we that, pick games for each other or something. Yeah, no, like no, that? no. We'll all play one game. We'll all have to finish like the same game. The same game. Okay, that sounds great. That sounds fun. Nice. We've probably already done that with some games. I would think. Oh, yeah. Let's go Pikachu. Honestly, if we do that, I would say we pick Astral Chain, even though I know it's coming up. What? But I've heard so many good things about. Oh that yeah, game, but it, it's like a Bayonetta play style. Yeah, like a game like we would kind of think about picking up, but wouldn't pick up. That's the one for me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Like Pac Man Repack. Yeah. We'll talk about that one later. Sure. What's the next one? Go for Pokemon. Let's go. Let's go. I'd say it's a C tier, solid. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say D. like the poke. D or C. It's like pretty. I'd say. Cool. It looks I'd nice. Say but... C. It's definitely worse than Luigi's Mansion. Don't lie, Josh. Yeah. You want to be. I don't mind no, it. I mean, it's a. Good, I'd put it B. I don't care. Yeah, it's, it's like on par with Sword and Shield. I'd say it has better graphics than Sword and Shield. Though, let's be honest. I like first better generation trees, Pokemon, you know. but it's just overdone. Yeah. I feel like yeah, it's C. It's, it's I'd C. say C. C. Yeah, it's All a total right. C tier. All right. Anyone played Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle? That's nope. C. But me. I've watched it be That's played, a. and it looks really boring. Bro, that's A tier for me. Definitely not A, bro. What? You think that's better than Luigi's Mansion? Bro, that's better no. than Luigi's Mansion, better than Skyward Sword. 
That's <laughs> okay, but you're in it's Skyward a, Park. It's a, <laughs> that's solid. To me, a. it's like a, a cheesy strategy RPG that just drags on with Mario characters that shoot guns. Like, yeah, exactly. Uh, I don't know. It Mar doesn't drag on, <laughs> it, bro. It's like gets better, and more creative as it goes on. Like okay. you get new abilities. You get new teammates okay. that come along the way, new guns that blast people, <laughs> splatter them across the map, ink them with honey, ink them with cheese. Like, you got okay. so many things that, in this game. It's eight. Let like me just say, I feel, if like, this, you're, I feel if, like you're capping. I'm not going to lie. This, I see you so sarcastic. I'm not capping. I'm not <laughs> no, capping. No, he play, he's played this game a lot. Yo, I don't know my how hours far on is, that game. But I... Uh, I'm, I've gotten through World 2, I think, in this game, and I'm like, if this game had any characters that wasn't Mario, I swear it would sell, like, less than a million copies. Like, it, if it had some other character, if it was just Rabbids Battle Kingdom, whatever, without Mario, Raymond like, Rabbids. no one would like this game. Yeah, so Rabbids... No one would like this game. It just came out on the Switch earlier. Like, what, a lot of the games that came out early on the Switch are just really mid, I feel like. Apart from the top game, which is BOTW, Brother of the Wild was really good. I, I agree with Josh. I think I think it without Mario, the game would be whatever. Uh, it like, was... just need to go away. Like, they're trying to... It sounds like Nintendo made a deal and Rabbids was like, hey, we have this idea, but we need to use Mario in order to make it popular. I'd say, yeah, we should we could slap it in like a, a D or B tier. I think C because D B. or B. <laughs> I say B. If you're, if you're gonna slap it in B or D, I say B. I yeah, I said B or C or or actually no, C or D. I. What B. did you say, Stephen? Did you say A or S? He said A. I said A. <laughs> oh, okay. I said C. So. I said C. Yeah. I see. C. C. Oh. We override it. So see. Sorry, see. Yeah, Sorry, it's got to be see. It's all good. It's all good. I'm sticking up for that game. I'm sticking up for that one. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is up next. Um, that's that's a Mario Kart game. That's an easy, like, that's an easy, I'd say general, generally, I'd say it's, it's a pretty A tier game. I mean, it's Mario Kart. Everybody loves Mario Kart. It's solid. A tier game. For sure. Me? I think... Wow, I, I, I'm not a fan of Mario Kart, but I just say that is the uh, that is I mean, kind of sorry. Oh no, I I think it's an ass. That's me though. The uh, with the DLC, I feel like it's almost pushing an S, but without the DLC, I'd say it's just A. I I'd say honestly, I say it was the perfect game even on the Wii U. Like it was incredible on the Wii U, and then they added. Uh, the battle mode, and I feel like that's the only thing it really lacked was the battle mode features. When they added that to the Switch, I'd say it pushed it to at least an A tier. But yeah, with the new DLC expansions that are coming, I agree with it pushing S tier. Yeah, I don't think it's perfect, but I'd I'd say A. Yeah, I'd say it's been out for way too long, and we need a new one, and that's for sure. Yeah. Sounds yeah. like everybody's A rank. Me. Yeah, I'd say Mario Kart's an A, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hyrule Warriors, B for me. Hyrule B for Warriors me. Definitive Edition, so the Wii Yeah, B for me. Yeah, B for me. B for I me. I can't judge I'd it. I'd say so. C for me. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I... I just, Vigo, maybe C, yeah. I think C. Hyrule Warriors... Yeah. Not I'm just... Mine. I'm not a fan of that genre. <laughs> Sam saying Smash is an S, but not Mario Kart. Just made me laugh. Made me crack up. I don't know why. <laughs> it's, like, she's right, though. Like, Mario, Mario, Mario Kart is, like, an epic, like, iconic game that's not going away anytime soon. And we just need a new one. Mario I'd say Kart Mario Kart 9. so much better. Like, if you yeah, add if it, those if it, characters that are in Smash to Mario Kart and you add their maps, like, you add a Metroid Prime map, you got a Star Steve Fox map. map. That, that yeah, makes Steve sense. from Minecraft map, you know? Go yeah. What other game sells like close to 50 million copies too? Like that's what, just insane. What other Anyways. game? Grand Theft Auto. That's the only other game. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> exactly. All right, yeah. the next Hyrule Warriors. Oh, wait, we forgot to throw or this he? one. Yeah. Uh, C tier? E. Yeah, C. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I only said C tier because I thought Age of Calamity, Hyrule Warriors, Age of Calamity, Breath of the Wild, like 
Same. spinoff. I thought it, that's a B tier, in my opinion. That's Age of Calamity has a really good story, but again, it suffers from the same flaws of it being a Hyrule Warriors game. Like, if it was another kind of, like, open world game, like Breath of the Wild, but you had, like, but it was, like, more story-based, and it was, like, you could still explore and you get to see Hyrule 100 years ago, that would be sick. But you're limited by the Hyrule Warriors, like, combat. Yeah, I feel like it's also limited by it's not a direct prequel to Breath of the Wild. Like, they changed yeah. the story, and that really bothered me in a way. Like, yeah, I know no, they you're can't just... tell us exactly... Or they could tell us exactly what happened, but, like, the fact that they, like, added some weird, like, you go back into the, f like, people are coming, uh, like, Sidon comes into the future and, that was like, like, saves Mipha. Like, what's going on there? I don't know. Yeah, and then it's, like, no, no, it's, I think of it as, like, some sort of, like, MCU phase four kind of thing. Yeah. Like, where the multiverse of madness and then, like, everybody just comes out of nowhere. <laughs> exactly. It's, like, we're coming Doctor from an Strange alternate... Stuff timeline and it's like okay wrong wrong uh wrong ip i agree yeah sounds like the story's lacking unlike a it upcoming was... warriors game we're gonna review it, yeah, it, it like honestly it was lack it wasn't lacking up to that point where i was like i don't even know if i want to finish this game no more but still kept going so yeah all right uh so we slap it in what, what do y'all think I, I say b b b tier b tier i agree with Rabo. B? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I've never Mario, played it. Mario Golf, know. it's a Mario Golf game. Haven't played it, D. so you guys... That game's B for me. I thought it was super fun when I played it. I think it's legit. It had so much potential. It's a lot... It, it is a lot of fun, like, just to, like, play with people casually. Uh, yeah, but like, it is. On, it, like, bummed me out. You know how they have the speed golf mode where you can, like, you just have yeah. to hit your ball in the fastest, so, like, you smack it, and then Mario, like, runs freaking fast on the golf course and you got like power-ups and stuff that like they made it look all fun and cool like in the trailers and it bummed me out that was only a two-player mode when it all came down to it like and even though like i swear they showed like, i liked it players. better than aces i say b okay uh i'd say i'd say d <laughs> anyone else have opinion on that so it's I guess Mario C. Golf. C? Alright, pop in C. Yeah. Uh, game garage or game builder garage. I Never really wanted it. to get this game. I Never did play the demo. It. I still wanna get it. Cause you make your own like actual games. Like people were making like crazy games in there. They were making like Sonic and like Mario 64 and this and like it was basically Sony's or um, Nintendo's version of Dreams that PlayStation made, I guess. I mean, it looks pretty great, and I actually think that would be awesome to to try out. But mm -hmm. just, I just keep waiting for it to go down in price or yeah. getting the time to actually play it. It looks great. Like to me, it looks fantastic. True, same but for this list, I haven't played it, so, so just leave it out. All right. I think Kirby and the Forgotten Land. I'd say B for me. It was fun, but it wasn't like incredible, like spectacular. I don't know. Yeah. That's a haven't played for me. Yeah, I'd, I'd also agree B just because it's a lot better than Yoshi's Crappy World. Uh, <laughs> and I think it like stands tall with like the Mario 2D game that we're looking in there, Super Mario U Deluxe. I feel like it's like. It was that like same level of, en of enjoyment, but honestly, I want to play it like. Like, I played it a little bit two players with Sam when she was down here, and I thought it was really fun. I thought it was too... I think the game's too easy, but I honestly haven't... I'm only, like, three worlds in, and I don't know how long it goes, so... I'd say B. I think there's, like, ten-ish. Ten? That's, yeah. That's a lot. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Say B. Okay. Uh, f the original Fire Emblem Warriors uh, that came... I think... It was originally on Wii U, right? Warriors? Or no, no, no. Warriors. I never no, played it. it. I've never it played Switch. any Fire Emblem game. I think it was I, on yeah, Switch. I heard it was on Switch, and it like is not as good, nearly as good as the new one. But I've never played it, so. Yeah. Okay. I've... Yeah, I haven't played it, so we could just chalk up the Fire Emblems to haven't played. Okay. Yeah. 
Brenda, have a good night. But Fire I'm Emblem's so. Warriors, I'm obsessed with that game. Like, it works like a Fire Emblem game, but oh, three it's Warriors, and the story is incredible. The story is incredible. Where would you put three I hopes? like it a lot. I would put I would put it at A. A? For me. Oh, yeah, really? I put it at A. No one else can say anything, so it just goes straight into A, right? Well, I really trust them because I knew the Fire Emblem games are just like usually pretty solid. So I like how many characters of Fire Emblem there are in Smash, though. So. Yes, well, Super Smash Bros. is technically a Fire Emblem game, so it's S tier Fire. And we already have one, <laughs> one S tier game in there that's Fire Emblem. So has anyone actual pl actually played Fire Emblem like Three Houses? I want no. to, but no, I haven't. Haven't. I'm. I know yeah. one of my friends is making a tabletop D and D version of it, so that's probably gonna be fun. <laughs> that's dope. Uh, Metroid Dread, <laughs> S tier. I suck at it. Never finished I'd the game. Say but a I'd say a. I'd say it's really? a comeback a? for a legendary franchise, so at S tier. I have. I think this is my favorite game on Switch so far. Like besides Breath of the Wild, because I I don't think anything can top that. But like. Other than yes. the Breath of the Wild games that have came out on Switch, by mm. far my favorite, like, and I actually, like, like, Breath of the Wild, when I beat that game, I, I wasn't, like, super accomplished and, like, happy with myself. Like, I wasn't, like, finally <laughs> did it. It was so hard. Like, it was, like... Yeah, that's because the Breath of the Wild bosses were really easy. Yeah, in Metro Dread, I was, like, I felt, like, this sense of, like... I, I felt like I was yeah. on top of the world and I've had like the most enjoyment I've ever had in like a game in a while. So I'd yeah. put it just bad at it my, for me. I'd say A, not as good as like Luigi's Mansion, but Whoa! it was good. <laughs> <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> better than Skyward Sword though, huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, but... much better. No, no, much it, better. Metroid's S. Metroid is ass for sure. What do you say, like, Jason? Not only is it a comeback from, not even a comeback, because Metroid always kills it with every game. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know if people were like, oh, yeah, it's dying. It's not. It's like they just release them very slowly. But they this was. Like, yeah, they spend a lot of effort into the Metroid games. Yeah, this was a great one. And it proved that Metroid is, like, not going anywhere. It just Metroid just doesn't sell, is the problem. Like no one buys it for some reason, even though what? they're a lot of people buy it. Sure. Everybody yeah, bought Dread. Bought it in a new generation of gaming because it hasn't had a game for years. Yeah. It's been a long time, and That's usually true. the people who played a lot of the Metroid, all the games were being released on their handheld system, and those are the people that knew it mostly. Mm -hmm. And then yeah, on the on the Wii, what was it? The Wii U. It was, I mean, they made three like. Metroid games or the the or it just doesn't hit yeah. the casual audience at all. I think this game sold it still has sold under three million, and it might pass three million sales, but like it doesn't hit the casual Nintendo audience. Yeah, kind of like Bayonetta me. doesn't hit casual Nintendo audience, but they're still great games. How much, how much did Skyward Sword? sell so, i'm curious on uh on Switch. i want to say around five million but i'd have to look at let's pull that up right I now on we it did not sell that much skyward sword sales on switch let's see but yeah i would put metroid what'd you guys say a s yeah we said s oh. it sold 3.6 million right and then so, dread up how much Dread, that the last sounds... they reported it was like 2.8 million. I think Metroid, I feel like Metroid introduced to a newer audience could be really fun. Like, it's got a really creative take on sci fi, and I think it's very fun to play. I think Metroid Dread was really hard, and it's in the title, and everybody <laughs> knew it was going to be hard. So, and it's fun. Like, it's really fun. I, I think feel like Prime Four will probably sell over three million. Oh, for sure, Prime It'll sell Four. sell more than Dread. Yeah. The talent they're hiring for it, I think Prime Four is going to be really good. Yeah, oh yeah. I think Prime Four will draw people like to buy a Switch. To be honest, like I feel like people miss those Prime games from the GameCube for sure. Or it comes out on a newer console. I don't know. Yeah. True. True. I mean, they promised Switch like five years ago, so they better put out the Switch, I guess. 
still. But it just bothers me that like Metroid Dreads like still hasn't sold over three million yet they released the sales numbers for Kirby and the Forgotten Land and it was like two million way more and two million and, in like two months. Yeah. There's like kids. Like kids play yeah. the heck out of Car- yeah. Kirby. I feel like yeah, Kirby could hit the general like casual Nintendo yeah, audience. True, true. Just... Like the Switch Sports that sells like over ten million. We, Holy because God. of the Wii Sports memes, that's why Switch yeah. Sports probably sold so <laughs> much. And they added I, Matt into the game too. No, but I still think that Metroid Dread is an S, like hands down. Oh yeah, Metroid Dread is an S. Too. S, throwing an S. Like it's just like Go there's for it, yeah. no game. I like, love Metroid. I'm cool with it. Okay. There's Donkey Kong, say Tropical a or Freeze. F. Tropical Freeze haven't really played. I played a little bit of it, but I just got bored. I would legit put Tropical Freeze in S tier, dude. That game is so good to me. Like, I, I'm obsessed with the Donkey Kong franchise and, like, I... Or just the Donkey Kong Country franchise. I, like, I never really got into, like, Donkey Kong Jungle Beat or, like, Donkey Kong 64 or whatever. But, like, the Country franchises, like, are, like, one of my favorite Nintendo franchises like it's slowly gotten worse up until tropical freeze's release and i thought tropical freeze difficulty level was perfect like i feel like it's comparable to dread how hard it was for me i don't know uh obviously the graphics are a lot worse because it's a wii u game ported like over the, to the switch but i heard like, it was yeah. one of the best donkey kong games like donkey kong country sorry ravo go ahead oh no you're all good I haven't played it though. I'm not a big Donkey Kong fan though, so I'd probably put it in like B tier because Steven says it's good. I just, I'm not like the biggest Donkey Kong fan. The only one I remember playing is the Wii one. That's it. Yeah. I lean, I lean on whoever's played it. Like that was one I want to play, but I just never got a chance. Steven, you should rank this one uh, because uh, I'm, I'm just gonna play I've it. Played it. I've played I think it. I think yeah, A is in- good. What were you saying, Jason? What, Jason? Oh, no, no. I'm just saying that A make, makes sense. S is, like, a little pushing it. Yeah, it's kind of I would think so, too. Good. I've played it. I, like, borrow it from Steven every once in a while, but I still haven't finished it. I'd like to, but I would not put it in S, I don't think. I didn't like it as much as, like, Dread or I'd say, Luigi. honestly, if we're going to do a <laughs> thing, like, we all play it, like, or you guys all play it, you guys should all play Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze because I think that game's a masterpiece. I don't know. I believe it. Yeah. I believe it. Donkey Kong games are always fun. They're just, you have to get into them. Once you do, they're awesome. I just wish they had like more story. I think that would be epic. Yeah. Donkey Kong so. does have a story, I think. Anyways. No, it's, it's light, though. It's like, highly, what's next? I haven't yeah, played Damon X Machina. I don't even know what the heck that is. It looks like oh. one of those, another one of those games that play during the direct. And you're just like, it, are people really hyped for this? It was playing in the like E. It was the first announcement in the E3 like 2018 direct with the with the like big Smash blowout. Everyone is here, and I remember vividly in my YouTube video where I did a reaction to it. I said this game looks terrible, and I got roasted in the comments so hard. It's you know, people, I uh, have the Damon X mock and uh Joy Cons and they're great, so I give it an S probably. What? No, you do not. Do you? <laughs> I have their Joy Cons, yeah. Oh, what the heck? Okay. An S here if I have the Joy Cons not drifted yet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They never drifted. Oh, okay. Then if it's A tier, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. No, we it. should skip this one. Yeah, we have, we should skip it because none of us. Are Jason? It has a hardcore following of people that love it because it's really good, but I haven't played it, so let's leave it. You know, they have a cult in like one room of some random church yeah. in like the basement or something. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right, guys, ready for Demon X Machina Club? Yeah. Calvary right. Fort Collins. Clubhouse games? Has anyone played that? Because I'm a huge Clubhouse games fan. I have not. It just looks like board games, like the 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 um game pigeon thing you would have on your phone that's what it looks like it to is. me it has 51 I, games yeah. and it has that I'd, ludo game yeah i'd give it like a b or a c like it's fun but kind of short-lived like yeah it's it's just game pigeon just put it in a b tier it's lived I, on for me for like every year i play it still i played it so, the other day with sam so good 
it's it's a great game but like it's just board games on the screen that you can play with people online yeah like it's like c c for me but i go b anyone else c yeah b is fine yeah b is fine He's fine. I, I just feel like it's it's better to it's honestly it's better than Mario Party Superstars in my opinion somehow. Okay, that makes sense right. actually. Uh, All right, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. D or F. This is really? an S for me. The, uh, this is a. Uh, it's it's so this a B. is it's a B. definition of low tier. This is such a great game in my opinion. Great. Like, I could play it forever. Like, the puzzles are so intriguing to me. Like, I thought it was incredible. Yeah, I think it's a really fun game, too. I think B tier for me. Okay. It's a D or F for me. Probably like a C if we're going to combine them together. Honestly, it only... looks like a neat puzzle game, but I haven't, I haven't played it again, so I, I lean on you guys for it. I mean, it's only, it came out of Super Mario 3D World's mini games. And it. Exactly, and that's game. where it belongs. <laughs> Yeah, hey, no. <laughs> uh, I I think it belongs in B tier. I I honestly thought it was a lot of fun, but I I I have it on the Switch, but I I already beat the Wii U version. I just wanted to play it again on the go. But it's some people's like favorite games like ever. Cuz I don't know, but I'm sorry people. for those people. So. It's it's a I'm B. Just kidding, then. I'm just kidding. We have an S, a D, and a B, so put it in B. Okay. S, D, and then yeah. Cadence of um, anyone? It's like a I game. never played it. Oh man, that's a one I've been wanting to pick up so bad. Like it just looks really fun. I like fun. the name Cadence. It's pretty sick, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, let's Wait, play are you ass. serious, Jason? It, I don't it think looked, I've ever even like heard of this game. It's like, like, it has it, really it, good reviews. Be, like a beat and rhythm game that you play with Zelda to attack. You have to do it according to rhythm. Interesting. It looks awesome, and I, I keep wanting to pick it up. Matter of fact, I want to pick it up. I just keep forgetting the name. Should we <laughs> all take it up? Should, I say we should. Uh, I say it should be uh, a not played. Yeah. Yeah. But the default thing in Bravely Bayonetta. Default? Bravely default. That's a D for me. That's a D. For what? Bravely default. For the default? art style. For the art style, that's a hard D. We haven't what? even played it, bro. Play the game. Bro, just look at the just look at the game and the characters. Wait, like, what is it called? Bravely Default. Bravely Default. A... Look up the gameplay. You will be disgusted. The by originals the art style. on the 3DS. Right, to... The originals on the 3DS, I think. Uh, dude, it's they... an RPG, right? Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I I I don't know. <laughs> I, I feel like we can't rank it, bro. It, it just, no, we can't rank but it. But no. I don't think it looks that bad, I, in my opinion. It really, it, this is a chibi art style. I can see what Josh is going for. But it's, it's really bad. awkward. Yeah, yeah really it does. Like, awkward. It seems really awkward. Like It's it seems... cringy. <laughs> it's... Hey, that, it ain't that cringy, bro. There... It's really cringy, yeah, we bro. Got, yeah, we, we got games. It's cringy. Like, the characters, they do look very, like, yeah. yeah but then you see the art style there's like some cool art style it's like it's pretty mid but since none of us have played it i will just go with josh's d tier no we should josh do has it. Not played it. <laughs> <laughs> we should skip it probably all right bayonetta <laughs> have not played but no. i oh wait what were you saying i give bayonetta an a i think we it's need really to all good get, wait, we need to all get bravely default Let's no, no. <laughs> Let's do it. gotta die. Let's all get it. Vomit. No, we have to go through it. Like that would be uh, it. Let's all suffer through it together. I'm just throwing it out there. <laughs> all right, Bayonetta. Who says it's an F? I've never. I played said Bayonetta it's an games, A. So I'll I let think the people it's an who played A. it. Okay, I've let the, I'll let the people who played it decide that one. The combat is just so much fun. I just yeah, the combat is ridiculously fun, and the bosses are incredible. I haven't finished yeah. it because it's really hard. Like, harder than Dread, in my opinion. Hmm. On normal difficulty. Wow. But, like, <laughs> it's really fun. I don't know. I don't know if anyone else has played it. I no, but I know, like, the the original... Uh, when What system did the original Bayonetta come on? PlayStation 4? Or uh, Xbox? Or 3? Or the... Maybe it was at... I, Xbox 360? I think it was on like both. PS3? It was on both. Yeah. Yeah. But I remember like some of the um, the chain like combos you could do were just epic. They were super fun. So yeah, I'll, we, I'll go Josh on that yeah, one. Wherever you want to put it, I've seen Josh play it and it looks like incredible. It looks like the boss battles look like 
um, something out of like Lord of the Rings. Like you look like you're fighting like some crazy like demon dragon stuff, and it looks like a Souls game to me. Like it looks like super hard and like kind of scary. Or like I don't even want to try it. Yeah, we could. Yeah, we could put it's trust. Too- uh, we could trust Josh and put it in A tier. Okay. Yeah. Alright, Mario Strikers Bad League, guys. Oh my god. I know you I'm guys so I, I know you guys don't like the game. No, I, I love Strikers in itself. Yeah. This is just a really bad Strikers game. I'd still give it like a like a B. I still like it better than the other Mario Sports yeah, games. Yeah, I like it better than Switch Sports and all the other Mario Sports games still, but it's still extremely disappointing. So disappointing. Oh my god. Like, so you guys think it's a disappointing game of the year. Yeah, you guys yeah. thinking like a C tier? Thinking B. I'm thinking B, but it is the most disappointing game of the year still. But it's okay. a B. Like the original, <laughs> or not the original, but the Wii version is S tier. All day. S-tier. And this, sure, yeah. that's where I was yeah. hoping this one would land, and this one just like deflated it's, my this heart. This one's just weird. I just, uh, I don't know. Yeah. Right, just slap it up in me, I guess. What's the name? Ast- what is that? Astral uh, Chain. It's made by Platinum never Games. Never played it. So it's ma- never played same it. Same developer. Never same Bayo. people who make Bayonetta. I heard it's like similar to Bayonetta, but like different characters, stories good, combat's amazing. But never played uh, I've heard it. It's better than Bayonetta yeah. from a lot of people. Oh really? Yeah. So oh, I have never played though. Sorry, Dad. Oh no, you're just getting wild there. Like saying it's better than Bayonetta. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I want to try. I I want personally. I want that to be like our game that we all pick up. I've been tempted to buy it many times, but like I saw Bayonetta was on sale, and I like just picked that up instead. Zeno I was like, yeah, same maker. Astral Chain are like the games yeah. I've been tempted to buy. All right, I, we haven't. We just skip over that one because we haven't played it. Yeah. yeah. Arms. Arms C tier for me. <laughs> I'd say C tier as well. It, ha- it honestly, it's such. It's like. It actually, no, I, 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 it think B, I think B. I think B tier. It tried. I'd say it tried its, its hardest. Just, it's better than Yoshi's crappy world, and like, it's better than you those know, two Mario sports games in there. Yeah, I, I think it's a C, and this is why. I feel like it's it's like the Spider Man ride at Disney at California Adventure. <laughs> like, oh. it's like super, it's just like super gimmicky. Like, we know uh, how- you can play it. You can't compare it to that ride. It's, sp- it's better than it's- that ride. Oh god! Like, come on, like we're, I thought we were done with this world with like, you, but anything comparing it to that Spider-Man ride is hilarious. Yeah, that's that's harsh right there. You're going that's that you you want to indeed to your huh, Jason? <laughs> <laughs> You're going harsh on this game. I, when I played it, it was fun. I'll give it that. I played it yeah. with Steven a few times. I had fun, but like, I'd say B or C, I'm fine it's with. A you C. guys can decide. It's a C. <sighs> we'll see on that one. That's a C. That's a C. Like, you put it up against the other games, that it goes way down. Like, I, I mean, I put it up there with like Kirby what? and D. Oh, jeez. It's not worse than Poker. It's better than Poker, yeah, Jason. Yeah, I think it's a C. That's right, yeah, we'll, I think we'll it's... toss it in C. I I legit was addicted to that game, and every whenever I come back to it, I'm like, this game's better than I have given it credit for. And like, they actually put like amazing like creativity into every character. Like I like they need to not waste those characters. Nintendo needs to put them in Mario Kart or like put them in some like different game because those characters are sweet like min min being in smash like so, uh, ninjala okay. or not ninjala right? Isn't that right ninjara <laughs> i agree i agree with you 100 percent. like it's great like concept the ideas like, like everything about it is it should be a great new franchise that would take over the the punch out market mm-hmm. hmm. but it missed in a lot of areas and i feel like if they can fix those areas and not make it spider-man like it would be like great yeah i would take an arms too if like they improved upon a lot of things and like the gameplay needs to improve yeah. like just strategy because you need like in smash you can be good at smash and like you could beat everybody mm-hmm. with arms you could be five years old and play the right buttons and push the right things and throw your arms around and you could win the game yeah. like it's right. a 
Not cool. I, what about, okay, Legends Arceus? I'd say an S tier. I'd say B. I'm having a just, little bit of trouble here, but I'm thinking... It's a comeback for the Pokemon series, just saying. The graphics are still very mid, but it's so, it's really fun. It's, yeah, I agree with Robo. It's a step in the right direction for Pokemon yeah. to get out of their, their, it's the next step before this next one to kind of get out of their, their hole they were in of the same exact Repeating game. the game over and over again, yeah. Yeah, I'd say I'd s great step for Pokemon. I agree. It's still B for me though. Okay. Yeah, I'd, I, I honestly I agree with Josh. I'd say B. I I agree that it is like a perfect I step in the right direction. I think it's my definitely yes. my favorite new Pokemon game. But I think Sky, yeah, Skyward Sword is better. Yeah, half of us say A or S. Half of us say be an B. A. Yeah, it yeah. should, should be, be an A. a then. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh. yeah, Skyward Sword is better than this game though. I'm just saying. Mm, I don't know about that. I don't think so. Animal Crossing. I love the Happy Home DLC. Happy Home DLC made it makes it an A tier for me. I'm just not an Animal Crossing person, but I know it's a good game, and I know yeah, a lot of my game. friends really love it. So I'm gonna put it in an S tier. But for me personally, it's probably around an an A. Okay, I. It's B for me. B for me. Yeah, I'd say the addiction factor that it had on me was an A. I never got to play it. Like I, I put in <laughs> so many hours at it at first. It was like that. It had that Breath of the Wild moment where I couldn't put it down, and I was like, I, I would go to bed early just so I can, or like I would go to bed at like a normal time, like eleven, just so I could, and then I'd wake up, set my alarm at like five, so I could start my day on Animal Crossing. But it definitely it does get old, but definitely like that first like. 100 to 200 hours definitely puts in a at least a yeah yeah i a. i always it's wanted to play the complete game oh sorry i didn't mean to interrupt oh no i i, I think it's an a I, I would say it's an actual s if they didn't have the the online annoyance of joining other people's islands like it takes forever and then if some mm -hmm. like so many problems there and I know Sam loves that one, and it's an <laughs> S, but like, yeah. It just if they could fix that online play, then imagine if you could just like simply jump on someone's island super fast and play and like hang out. Like there would be so much more to do there. Yeah. But for me, it's like an A. Like I, I could pick it up and play it and. It's one of those games for me where it's like, man, I need to go out. Like I need to stop playing this and go plant like real plants or like go out and make real money it just like makes it makes you feel like what the heck like what's the purpose like it makes you question your life kind of game you're just Not like for me. it tells me to touch grass like it makes you want to go like achieve more in the world because you're that achieving so much through dude, the game dude for real that's how brother mine makes me yeah feel. i'm anyway like jason like i feel like this game has so much potential like it's like a splatoon 2 kind of thing like if, like this game could actually fix their online and you can actually like work on stuff together like like uh renovate the island like two people or like even like three people at a time like i feel like this game would be absolutely perfect and i feel like it yeah. would keep people playing for longer but the fact that you go to someone else's island and you legit have like nothing else you can do like just restricts it so much i feel like nintendo's better than that and I feel like uh -huh. Animal Crossing has had better entries in the past. And yes. they can easily make this game a million times better. The Happy Home? No, the Happy Home DLC? I will vouch for that. That is an S tier. I love Happy Home Designer. But you know what? Like, if they fix that, then th this is I wasn't a lot of cheap. If they did fix that, though, here's the, the, the really funny thing about that. It would be like Minecraft. Yeah. Like Minecraft, the fact that you could jump on someone's island, and everybody work together to make like these huge worlds, it would just be way great. But like, they need to fix that online play. To make they it, also need uh, to make it so you don't have to wait days to get your stuff. That is yeah. annoying because I that was like a big put off because um because um <laughs> I don't know. yeah I wasn't allowed to cheat due to um circumstances. 
because I wanted to fast forward time so I could play it faster because I'm like I don't have time to wait through days to play this daily I'm like I don't want to do that and I wasn't allowed to do it <laughs> yeah, anyways that, that is hard Sam waiting. wants us to move it up Sam wants us to move it up but here's the thing oh like, sorry Sam no, is this too no, bad Sam. no no it's sorry, a great Sam. game and it could be the S tier but on our list it's just not that I'd say, I'd say in... Steven's putting it in D. <laughs> I'm just it's just, I was about to say, no. Steven, it is not a D tier. I like I think we it. all it's, agree A. I think I, I'm a, I'm torn between A and S. But yeah, I think A is, think where it, in in yeah. my opinion, probably A is where it is for me. Yeah. It's um, a, or B, honestly. Anyways, more right, 3D worlds. Mario 3D worlds. 3D worlds world. oh, world. world and Bowser's, and Bowser's Fury. Fury, too. <laughs> Yeah. I'd say that's about an, an A. a. Yeah. This is an A. Solid or A. S, I, honestly. Not S, A. I, yeah, for I'd, sure. I'd, for I'd sure. say A too. I think Bowser's Fury was honestly like, I think that's where the next Mario game needs to go, kind of, in that step. In, I, I like that direction. Yeah. I thought that was better than Odyssey, in my opinion. Like, fighting that giant Bowser, like, having crazier boss fights in a Mario game and not these, like, ring around the rosy little, like, bunny people in Mario Odyssey. I feel oh, like, that's annoying. I yeah, feel, I feel like, yeah, I feel like I, um, A. Are we B. all agreeing on A? Yeah, yeah. A. Yeah. I had three D World is so good. Three D like World's A, fun. Three sure. D World yeah. is fun. Multiplayer factor so fun that they added online yeah. on the Switch too. I think that raises yeah. it up. Anyways, what about Mario? Or, wait, Jason, the, the, what did you have to say about it? Sorry. No, I'm dying. I'm like, I'm still laughing that Sam like was like unfollowed in oh. the chat. <laughs> Sorry. Sam, you better not. You better not. <laughs> Anyways, um, Super Mario 30th Anniversary Collection. Yeah. I'd say uh, probably a... Uh, for To please all the speedrunners out there, I'd say probably an F tier. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? This I, I is awesome. Wanna, I don't want to plead please no speedrunners here. Uh, I, I want to... I, I don't like I don't respect the speedrunners. No, I'm just messing. Uh, I w- I would say a solid uh, S tier. I don't know. You? It just seems like such a like a cash grab thing. Oh, wait, wait wait oh wait wait. This is our list. Is this your top like S game tier for okay. this year? Like, okay. Would Would you say that this is S tier for you? Mario Galaxy is an S tier. The rest of them, I okay. I like I like 64 DS better. Just in my opinion, it's way better. You could play as Wario and Luigi. Okay, yeah. Going off Sebastian's point, I agree. Galaxy's S, Sunshine's D, 64's B. So I throw it. <laughs> yes. So I throw uh, it in A. I think I, I love the three pack. I feel like this is like one of the rare Nintendo like blessings that we had. I think you I just know. like Sunshine, Josh. I, 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 I love. Oh, I like all of them. Honestly, I, yeah. I'd say A. I don't think I'm sunshine. I, except I wish they did a little more to like 64. You know, if they yeah. like improve the graphics tremendously, like it's definitely not S. They it's just all the games just kind of ported and upresed, and you know, yeah. so it's probably I... A or B for me. I'm still thinking it's an F tier just because it just seems like a total <laughs> cash grab and to please all my all the speedrunners out there. Yeah, yeah. It is it is a cash grab, but it's it's a it benefits the people who don't have it who, or want it again to play on the system. But to me it's not a bad thing, but for me like I would rate it down the list just cuz I don't need it. I've played it, been there, done that. I don't want to your Galaxy that. though. One and two, both fire games. I feel like just taking So where would you put it, Jason? Was so nice. I mean, I think I think it's a, a for me, it's just like a, a B. Okay. Okay. But it's a it's a good game. I'm not saying it's a bad game. I'm just saying. What'd you me. say, Steven? I said A for this one. A is uh, fine. Put it in B then. Because yeah. Rabo voted D. Jason F, put actually, B. Actually, I voted F. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't think it can be worse. I I think personally, it's better than 3D World. Just having those three games in there. And hello, Angel. No way. Yeah. I don't think yeah. so. Once you switch, so. is an easy F tier for all of us. F- I, feel like. I, yeah. I agree. That, that game is <laughs> such an F tier game. That might be the worst Nintendo published game on the Switch this generation. Yeah. Like, 
It's literally. Are you gonna make an F tier for it or a one two switch tier all in itself? Because it's just that bad. <laughs> <laughs> charging for that game still. Wait, what like, did you say? That, how much are they charging for that? Sixty. Exactly. Sixty and occasionally no, it goes to forty. It's, one. Yeah, it's forty now. Yeah, like that. But game, that when is the sequel comes out this month and it's announced that the next direct, it'll probably drop to like twenty. Two, three, switch. When we get three, yeah, four, switch. That's three, what four, they switch. said. Yeah, yeah, one, two, three, four, switch or something. Yeah. So that that game should have come with a Nintendo Switch, and I almost guarantee you it was going to come with the Switch. I can almost guarantee that it was going to come with the Switch, but then they were like, "Oh, we can make sixty bucks off of it with each thing," and so they decided to separate it. But I can because they had no games, they knew they can make money off of it. I don't <laughs> think I'd buy a Switch if it was bundled with it. Though. If it was bundled I'm with it, well, if it was bundled with it for like if they didn't charge any extra, it was just a flat three hundred. Yeah. Then like, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Should we slap it in F though? I think D is too merciful on it. <laughs> If we had an F, yeah, I'd put it in F for sure. Can we make it here? I honestly, oh, oh crap! I honestly like don't know how to work this thing, so I'm. Uh, just I think you it. press. The, okay, fine. Okay, fine. That's, that's, that's okay. Pretty good. That's good. That's a bottom tier. Yeah. But we uh, just Mario Odyssey. Below. What do you guys think? Guys, I, I, mean, I say C. A. C for sure. I did not really? like the game. I was bored really? out of my mind. I played Splatoon 2 way more. I got Splatoon 2 <laughs> and Mario Odyssey one time, and both in like a package deal. And I hardly played Mario Odyssey. I I don't know. I it's not a fun one for me. I know people love it. Like for me, it's like it's lower level. So boring. Oh my gosh. I, I didn't like, school like the idea. Game. Thinking, I didn't like the music, but people love it. There's some people that love it. And you the the music, <laughs> yo, what's that song from this game? What's that song? That, from the Jump game? up, superstar. <laughs> not that song. Not that song. Not that song. And then the weird, like human people walking around, yes. like that's just love that. And then the it's random cool. dinosaur that's just like kind of like low, like low graphic quality. Oh, yeah. Kind of weird. <laughs> the RT, the the attempted RTX dinosaur. Yeah, the T Rex, and that's in like the first oh. level. Like it's, it's just not weird. my favorite Mario. Kalen loved it, but I'd put it at like B. It's worse than three D me. I think it's a B because it's it's. Yeah, I, I don't know. I might even put it as an A just because I think it's better than the B games that we have, but. It's just for yeah, me. I agree. I agree. It's a that. lot better than Wii U Deluxe. Like that game's yeah, absolute it trash. It was better than Skyward Sword. Yeah, for yeah. Sure. <laughs> you're right. Yeah, I gotta look at the list. It's an A for sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I just B. personally like the fact. Like, I love that you can throw your cap, turn into whoever you want. Like, I don't know if you guys beat the level or if this is spo or beat the game or if this is spoilers, but the greatest thing to ever happen in a Mario game when you throw your hat at bowser and you become bowser like that yeah. that is actually the like coolest thing that i've ever experienced in a mario game and i feel like they need to make an open world bowser game just because of that i agree yeah i want more bowser there's a lot of really cool stuff in it it's just for mm -hmm. me and like that that game that was mm -hmm. s tier that's all because we just take mario for granted now yeah yeah, you know, definitely yeah. a lot of mid kingdoms, <laughs> like a lot of terrible kingdoms, but there's definitely a lot of crazy, like amazing kingdoms. But that chat is so funny. Uh, Angela 3P is saying the great Tetris, but that wouldn't Tetris. even make sense. Oh, yeah, the Tetris is a Tetris game, anyways. If, uh, on the uh, if I well. put Tetris in this list, I'd probably put it at a D. Nah, I'm just I'd probably put it at C. I, or no, B, B. I'm like the best Tetris, the best Tetris is the original Tetris, hands down, and Bombless. If you've never played Bombless, Tetris 99. Yeah, Tetris 99 is fun. I I personally yep. prefer Poyo Poyo Tetris on the Switch. Anyways, what about Breath of the Wild? <laughs> D. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Totally. Did you say C? I said D. No. but we can make an F. That's an F. Yeah, yeah, it's so bad, dude. It's so bad. I'm just kidding. No, 
No, it's Breath of the Wild game. is an easy like we need a no another tier as in a Breath of the Wild tier. Like it's it's just that good of a game. Like it's a classic, instant classic. People still play it to this day. It's been out for like six, seven years ish. And Five. when you're sad, Breath of the Wild. When you're happy, Breath of the Wild. When you're just feeling <laughs> mid, Breath of the Wild. If you're eating toaster strudels, Breath of the Wild. You burn your mouth on those toaster strudels, Breath of the Wild. That's funny. I'm gonna have to try that when I eat the toaster strudel. For me, it's an A. I'll have to say. I'll just have to say. Unpopular yeah. opinion, maybe, but it's an A for me. Like I, I just don't find joy in like replaying it, or like I don't find joy in exploring. I just kind of played it for the story, and like there wasn't a I don't know. I didn't really care for the whole divine beast aspect. That is true. And I don't care for the art style at all. Oh yeah, that's right. You don't, I don't know. art style. I don't know. I just it, but it, it, I had fun with it. Like it, it's fun game. It's a great game. But there, it's not S for me, I'd say. It's, okay, so it has problems. Yes, there are flaws. Like the bosses, the dungeons, terrible. Absolute garbage. <laughs> there was, the theme was the same. The, the Korok seeds, why are there 900? And it's I like, like that. There's 900. <laughs> and for, but for the exploration, amazing. The beautiful music, amazing fact that your weapons break really new and amazing i kind of like it it makes it, i mean oh, everybody I, don't like that. I mean everybody <laughs> was like oh my gosh weapons break this is not a zelda game well to them i say you're not a zelda game because <laughs> you're not a zelda game oh my god <laughs> because, <laughs> because these people are like oh, i played ocarina of time ocarina of time so good it's like ocarina of time was made good. 20 years ago and it is good i like it but it is not Breath of the Wild. Breath of the yeah. Wild is a tier beyond all the Zelda games. Okay. So every Zelda, every Zelda game is different. Every every oh, one, no. most of them are always good. Then you have like other other ones that you. CDI rate. intensifies. But I I actually think that this is an S tier game because it was like it's sold twenty eight million from what I just looked up. Like it's huge. Mm -hmm. It's uh, just. Visually, the Switch can compete with other systems, so they had to make they had to come up with a style that can make it different, but still make right. it. Yeah, it's, it's iconic. It's great. It's it's the it's, Saturday morning game. It's cool to <laughs> you, as far as like if it's the best or not, but I think as far as game quality, game build, game story, not everything's perfect. It's the boss, the last boss fight is stupid. Terrible. Yeah. It's so yeah, bad. It is. <laughs> like you just go in with a traveler yeah. sword at the very beginning of the game. the easiest freaking boss fight, like in Zelda yeah. history, is the last boss for like. Like I want the boss games. fight at the end to be like dread, like where I, you're just, yeah, yeah, I want Breath of the Wild yeah. two to be way harder. Like it's like the Splatoon two story versus the Octo expansion. Like I want the story of Breath of the Wild and one to be like it's gonna be really easy, and then Breath of the Wild two is like when they learn from that and make it incredibly difficult but very fun at the same time. Yes, yeah, same. I think it's a mess. I don't know, Josh. I know you. You're not the biggest fan, but to me, it's an S. I agree. It's an sure. S. Well, honestly, it's an S. Looking at it, it's like way better than Pokemon Legends Arceus. Oh, for sure. Way it, better it, than Dominique. Animal Crossing. Animal oh Crossing. yeah. Wait, oh yeah, man, it's, I it's agree with that. Completely it's dominant. Completely wild. It, I, I agree with that. I completely. say it's up there with Dread and Smash Bros, if not higher than Dread and Smash Bros. Yeah. Just yeah. because it's a, just such a good game. So slap that big boy up in yeah. ST. <laughs> I, I agree, though. I see, like, with the dungeons and stuff, how it, like, it has, like, the fact that it's in S tier and it has all those flaws is just insane. Because, like, the whole, basically the whole world that you're, like, in is just one big giant dungeon, sort of. But, like, I do Real. miss the traditional Zelda dungeons, like, yeah. going into I... some creepy, dark, eerie place and, like, having, like, multiple rooms, like, finding the keys, finding an item. Like, I do miss that, even though, like, I want Zelda to stay like Breath of the Wild, like, giant open world. Um, so, that just makes Breath of the Wild 2 more exciting, but... I, yeah, I think Breath of the Wild 2 is going to incorporate a lot of the the elements that we all wanted in Breath of the Wild while including the same kind of like love and great things about Breath of the Wild. Yeah. Yeah, when it comes when the new one comes out, I bet you we'll all be sold 100% that it's an S tier. S plus tier probably. Oh yeah, the the new game's definitely creating a new tier on this list. 
Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. Let me say the next three games that are coming out, like Splatoon 3, the new Pokemon, and Zelda Breath of the Wild 2, I think those are going to be probably the top three. I think they're going to be the great ending games for the Nintendo. Switch. Metroid Prime 4 will come out eventually, or at least be announced one day. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. And also, we uh, supposedly some guys... Some guy, a reputable leaker, is saying we'll get a Nintendo Direct the next two weeks. So hopefully yeah, well, nice. we can see some Ooh. new games coming out or a new look at Breath of the Wild, even though I'm not sure oh. if they'll do that. Ooh. I just want oh, more Breath of the Wild. That was a hard one. Yeah, that was fun. I don't know where Josh went, but... Yeah, he just... <laughs> he just... He's like, I'm done. I'm yeah, done. he's like, I'm out. We really just ranked Breath of the Wild in S tier. Out. And rank the Luigi's Mansion <laughs> three and B. Yeah, he's like, we put it in B tier. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, I, I I think this list looks good. I I think one two switch. I do think that deserves uh, to oh, be with, all this. maybe to be with Pokemon Tournament in F, in F tier. Sure. Pokemon Tournament and one two switch. We have put one two switch on the bottom and Zelda Breath of the Wild at the top. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely. All um, right. All right, should we wrap right, this up? Well, do some sure, endings. Sure. Uh, Ravo, what do you got going on this week? Also, our, uh, as we're saying goodbye, like, do you have any game recommendations or anything you want to say as we uh, play Amori. head out? That's going to be my motto, play Amori. Play Amori? Uh, yes. What, what's the best way to play that? Is that is on Switch? Blind. Yes, on Switch, actually. Yes, on Switch. Play it blind without, like, any knowledge of the game. Just purchase, play. Purchase, play? Yeah. Purchase, not, play, stream? Not- it was on the uh, the sale list as being like one of the top like best sale games okay. right now. Yeah, I did see that like best. It was like one of the top selling digital only games, I think. Yeah. Like number yeah. top five or something. It's a game from what you I, get invested in that. What game is it like comparable to? It's an old eight bit RPG style game. I I say more Earthbound. People are like, it's just like Undertale, even though they are not <laughs> the same game, and that makes me very annoyed. Okay, I've never played Earthbound either, so I wouldn't know. But... Earthbound, yeah, it's more of like a kind of wacky RPG ish. I'd say get through the first forty minutes. At the first forty minutes, you're gonna be like, this is kind of trash, and then after that, you're gonna be infested. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like, just trust me. Just keep uh, playing through it, even if you feel like it sucks. I might, I might try if I if I look at my Switch after this and see a sale, then I'll definitely. It yeah, up, if it's on sale, it's the definite. Yeah. I'll pick it up now and then like play it later because I have so many other games I'm playing. But yeah, Josh, you need to get a Mori too. Yeah. I, uh, Jason, any games you recommend as we're heading out here? Yeah. Or anything you got going? I, am, I think ultimately, like everyone should get Bravely Default too. <laughs> <laughs> Top tier game, everyone. Oh my God. I just you saw know it. Gonna he's gonna buy it. And I'm going to get it, and we're, we're going to have to, like, I'll play it. I'll, I'll buy the cartridge, and then I can just send it to each of you after each one's done with it. Have you seen how big those people's heads are in that game? Yeah, <laughs> I did. But I, I have a feeling that the game's probably way good. I'm just going to say it. Go out there, and I'm, I'm not... Like... Oh, yeah, I know people that rave about it. They're like, it's so... 76 Metacritic. I thought yeah. it would be better than that. That's not very good. Is that called two or one? Uh, two. Let's see what one is. I can't type. Uh, Bravely Default one eighty five, and it was a right. three DS. Yeah. Maybe that's the one we need to get. Well, homies, I, I'm gonna head out. I do have three DS and three DS. Right. I'm gonna head out, guys. Peace. Goodbye. And then, Thank you for having yeah, me. Yeah, no, in. so glad you came. Yeah. Right. Bye, Sebastian. See ya. Bye. And then, uh, See Josh, any games you recommend on your way out or uh, anything you want to promote? Oh, yeah, I love Dying Light when that g- goes on sale or if it doesn't. Uh, I loved it. Right, we got I it. haven't beat it yet. I'm like 20 something hours in, and it's just so good. Dying Light 2? No, I'm just the first one. First Switch. Oh. The Switch one is the best reviewed one. Interesting. Okay, it does have like an on enhanced Metacritic. version on PlayStation and it's 86 it's, instead of It's the... like a definitive okay. edition, I think. Yeah. Oh, 86 on PlayStation? I didn't see that. Yeah, so. But, alright. I still, if if that comes on sale, you gotta let us know, so. Yeah, I'll, I'll but, text you guys if, it, if I ever see it. But, anyways, right. guys. 
thank you guys for joining watching the podcast mm. and i hope you guys have yeah. a great night we'll see y'all next week and uh yeah adios guys love y'all peace, peace out peace, peace out peace out and uh peace question out. authority yeah question <laughs> what okay bye